What's up guys, it's Blooming Guy, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Septo Conquest. Uh, I leveled up my team, and the last part we fought the Baron and stuff, and we also... Well, now we have a new addition to the team, Charmeleon, but I will rename him later on in the series. And now we're just going to continue forward because we already beat the Baron and we own this land. So yeah, Route 2B, and there's always going to be a broken subway thing somewhere around. That girl from, I think, well, that girl that wants to trade a Neerite, I think. And this red and blue reference. That lady just tells you the same thing in, every, in the same game. This is Eris Island. And evidently the gym leader is Lieutenant Surge, so I guess they didn't bother to change that. Because it's not Lieutenant Surge, I think. And that was just uncalled for. And there's a face over there with an island and stuff. Notice. People wish to train. There are two training grounds, north and east. Okay, the north one is inaccessible at this point. Because I've seen it beforehand. I'm a fisherman, do you agree? Some ginger cake guy gave it to me. Oh, okay. Well, this is... Okay. Um... Yeah. Well, I got the old rod, which I can use to catch the Magikarp if I want to. And... Yeah, okay, so this is what the SS ticket is for. Now, we're going to go ahead and take that. And we're also going to go ahead to this house party that Bill mentioned. Or, is it... What's a female version of Bill? Hmm, we're going to try and avoid this here. Uh, yeah, we're going to go to the house party Bill mentioned. So, yeah. X defend. That's cool. Why is there a sandstorm here? Anyway, it's the house party, also known as the SS Anne, or Saint Anne, whatever. Okay, well, is there a party? Is there? Oh, well, since it's the SS Anne, I think I know my way around. Let's try and find the kitchen, which should be over here. All these waiters. Let's see. Okay. Found a great ball. Yeah. Well, they know. Okay. Okay. Well, these references are funny, and I guess at least they kept the Chester Berry thing. The berry thing in the bin. The same. Which is cool. But. I have a question, or rather, a logic thing. If Pokemon exist in this world, then why is he serving up Salmon? Shouldn't he be serving up Magikarp or Feebas, for that matter? And speaking of which, if Pokemon in the wild eat Pokemon food made by humans, what do they do in the wild, aside from, you know, maybe berries and little well, chesto berries and all that other stuff and what if they run out of berries you'd have to plant them and then use a whale or pail on the berry and I think I should stop talking because this is really hurting my brain right now I shouldn't you know compare logic to real life in Pokemon they should really be serving Magikarp in that in that restaurant down there in the kitchen Cookman? Yeah, it's Cookman. Alright, let's fight Cookman. Let's see what he got. I think... Usually he steals a lot of Pokemon. And they have an origin story in here about him. Believe it or not. And this is a terrible matchup. But I'm gonna stay in anyway. Let's see. Of course, the T-Wave. Always go for the T-Wave. I'm just gonna keep using. Yeah, you can do that. That's gonna work. You can use double team if you want. Yeah. Bye. Look at you. Gone. Three, three, three. Kulava. Okay. Terrible, terrible matchup. I'm just gonna send out Sweet Tone and pretend like, you know, that's gonna happen. Water gun. Ah, oh, I hate this so much. <sighs> I really hate smokescreen. 
it's just it's not it's how do I say it? it's like it's worse on the receiving end like if I'm dealing out the accuracy down that's awesome and hilarious for me but when I get hit with the accuracy down it's terrible what okay I guess the AI is smarter well if you're gonna do that and I'm just gonna switch out because yeah you do that I'm just gonna one shot you I hope wait polyworld level 16 hmm I'm calling hacks because I don't think polywag evolve at polyworld to polyworld at 16 I think it's like maybe 20 something so, hmm, uh, hmm. There goes that magic carp again. Yeah, I'm just gonna pretend like that level 16 polyworld didn't exist. Because you know, this rom it's a ROM hack after all, so they can do whatever. Quava again. You know, if I made a ROM hack, I'd probably make killing a magic card maybe a thousand XP. Just saying. Instead of, oh, it's a weak Pokemon, it'll evolve into a Gyarados, so... Why not give you something to work for? Instead of, like, 50 and 70, how about 500? Yeah, 500 sounds more legit than a thousand. I don't know. I think it'd be, like, a rewarding. You, you want to catch this or you want to kill this? Whatever, go ahead. Farm if you really want to farm but then it get boring after killing Magikarp and wasting your time leveling stuff he does suck BS that Magikarp won't evolve BS anyway let's go upstairs Lance yeah I did off screen uh huh. Okay. Mm hmm. Yeah, he's the captain. Okay. I gotta leave, but. Yeah, you know. Keep it up with the dark humor. I think the creators really like Lance. I mean, really like Lance. Really. Anyway, since we have no business in this house party anymore, we can just go. And ah, uh, crap. All right. Well, skip and a jump later. We just go over here. I'm gonna go check out the store. Yeah, I don't need to go to the store. Uh. I think we gotta go to the Pokemon Center first. Yeah, the Pokemon. This is the Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal up because that battle was kind of long and drawn out. And now we're gonna get the VS Seeker by talking to this lady. So now we can rematch people again. Well, I don't know what purpose it serves. Because, you know, you could just level up. Some of the wild Pokemon are really strong here. Oh, well. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next episode, we're going to be taking on the gym leader. I have no clue what her name is or his name is. I think it's a her. Maybe. I have no idea. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, next part coming up soon, and I'll catch you guys later.